Greetings, friends and countrymen. Welcome to Conspiracy Corner News. This is Bart Sabrell. Conspiracy Corner News briefly highlights the week's most significant and underreported news events throughout the world, focusing on special preparation for the difficult times ahead for all mankind. Thank you again for my PayPal donations that come in regularly from people like Simon, John, Brett, Andy, James, Ralph, Adam, Graham, Patricia, Joseph, Americo, Chris, Robert, Golden T, Eula, Russ, and Elaine. Haven't heard from you. I thought I would discuss something that someone brought to my attention, and I apologize. I don't remember who it was. Someone sent me this several months ago, and I kind of filed it away on the back burner. And then I recently watched a film kind of uh, eerily uh, about this particular topic, and I thought I would uh, discuss it here. This is a national anthem uh, sign-off. Now, you may remember I'm 51 years of age. Uh, back when I was a kid, there was no 24-hour television about 1 o'clock in the morning. TV stations would sign off and there would be dead air for four or five hours until the morning shows started. And they would end with the national anthem. Now, I've been a filmmaker professionally for about 30 years. My job is to make fake scenes look real. That's why I noticed that the scenes allegedly taking place uh, on the moon with men allegedly there were in fact shot with electrical lighting rather than sunlight, as they claim, because that's what I do all day. I've shown films to colleagues, and they've said, hey, I love the way you use the sunset out the window. And I said, well, that was really an electrical light out the window to mimic the sun. So based on that experience, I'm going to look at this clip, and it does not appear to be altered to me. It looks like the genuine clip. Now I'm going to turn up the sound. You're just going to hear it through my speakers. I'm going to make it full screen, and we're just going to watch it one time through first, and tell me what you think here. Our national anthem. <laughs> Now, we're going to take a, a closer look at this, and uh, when these words at the bottom change, it kind of does this kind of ripple effect down at the bottom. And if you look inside this ripple effect, you're going to see words change here kind of in the ripple effect. Trust the U.S. government. And then uh, you'll see the next one in this filmmaker. I'll put a link to this. God is real. God is watching. Now, it's not in the words itself. It's in the transition of the words where they change. Believe in the government God. And you can look at this, you know, play this back again a second time, and you'll be able to see it. It's definitely there. Now, I've studied this, and when the this was originally like 16 millimeter film, uh, at least given to the stations, and you can see when the picture shakes a little bit because of the film going through the gate, the letters shake with it in the same exact way. So it makes me think that this is indeed the original. Now, you have to keep in mind this was done 50 years ago. So if they, whoever they are, uh, were programming people subliminally 50 years ago, you can imagine the increase of technology now in order to do this. Again, the subliminal is not in the words themselves. It's in the ripple effect of the transition. 
God is real. God is watching. You see, it's they're doing it during the transition between the words. Obey, consume, obey, consume. I mean, that's very clear, and it's definitely there. And let's look at that one more time. It's right here. You know, do not question government right there. See that? Hidden in the transition. Of course, you can only see it when you slow it down. Of course, in the 1960s, no one had that capability at home to do that. Believe in government God. I mean, that's uh, pretty clear, too, here. Let's look at it one more time here. Believe in government, God. Now again, when you go back to the beginning of it, you uh, you don't see it. So you can see it right around here, the first words, God. And then, of course, when they slow it down for us, this uh, YouTube channel, which we'll link to here, Trust the U.S. Government. Now, all this to say, let's hold on to this for a second here. This is the words that it actually says. Trust the government. God is real. God is watching. Believe in government God. Rebellion is not tolerated. Trust the U.S. government. Who fakes the moon landings and stuff like that. God is real. Believe in government God. Which is interesting. They're wanting to get rid of the original creator of the universe and say that men's institutions are now God. Rebellion is not tolerated. And this is really interesting because we're going to show a clip from this film I watched the other night, They Live. Uh, and you'll see this is some of the words we saw in that movie, obey, consume, obey, consume. I always thought it was funny that uh, Bush Jr. was so popular winning, you know, two elections. And he constantly referred to his fellow man and fellow countrymen as consumers. Consumers this and consumers want that and I here to you know serve consumers not people not citizens not Americans consumers that's how these elite people view the rest of mankind beneath them in the hierarchy they are just cockroaches consuming the things that they manufacture it says buy believe worship consume believe do not question government God now that's pretty uh, fascinating here now you all may remember uh, the magic eye posters these came out I think in the early 90s to tell you the truth I had a hard time uh, seeing them at first it took me quite a while to see them and if you've never seen these before there's a little trick you're really trying not to look at the surface of this kind of blue green picture that you see you're trying to look through it so imagine this blue green surface is just kind of the front of the plate of glass Try to look through it. Try to look past it. Now, I've trained myself to see these things really easily. And for those who can now see it, you'll see a cross of Christ right here outlined. And you'll see the fish, kind of the Christian fish symbol that goes all the way around there. And it's extremely three-dimensional. I mean, that's pretty fascinating. This is a two-dimensional screen, and it looks like it's going back from you know the screen that I have about two and a half feet uh, in depth it's really crystal clear and so if they're doing things you know like this uh, back in you know the 1960s they can do this in the 90s imagine what they're doing today now here is the most obvious case that I've seen of subliminal advertising this I believe was in the late 80s early 90s Pepsi decided to come up with they released five different designs of Pepsi cans to see which one was most popular 
Now you're seeing the, the, the highlight over here, but basically if you turn these one can one way and one can another way and stack them a particular way, it would spell out sex. And here it is for you. There are numerous examples of this. Just look up some liminal advertising on a Google search and it will show you, you know, a bunch of uh, examples of that. Now here we're going to do full screen of this for a second. This I watched uh, the other night. It's really interesting and entertaining, but basically, it has to do with, you know, uh, the film is called They Live. I'm sure you could rent it really cheap online or buy it for eight bucks like I did on DVD. And it's how subliminal advertising is all around us. And these underground groups of people are trying to wake up their fellow Americans. And they have these uh, sunglasses they have designed that will allow people to see what is really there. Remember we, we saw in the National Anthem it said, uh, you know, consume, obey, consume. It's pretty interesting that this movie, which I think came out, I should have looked this up, but I think it came out in the late 80s, uh, early 90s, it said that. So somebody in Hollywood already knew part of the message here. Now in the film, the elite people are reptilians or something like that. Uh, some people believe those our entities are actually fallen angels who have been around since the beginning of the creation here when they were kicked out of heaven. And they're the ones controlling the Pope, the presidency, and that's why they protect their bloodline. In fact, I think in Genesis chapter 3, it says, uh, I will put war between the bloodline, the seed of Adam, and the bloodline of the devil or the fallen angels. That's one interpretation. So anyway, I thought I would just bring this up simply because it's kind of eerie and it is does seem to be <laughs> going on uh, I got rid of my television stopped watching television about oh maybe eight to ten years ago when I realized the average American is spending more than a hundred hours a month watching television I mean that uh, that's pretty amazing that's two and a half work weeks watching television now if you take the eight-hour day an hour getting to and from work, uh, sometimes longer, you know, having to sleep. You have like, what, a half an hour to an hour and a half if you're watching television to actually spend with your family. So I think that's probably not a good thing. The first thing you can do is probably get rid of your TV, use it for playback for movies on DVD and maybe for the Internet to do searches. But aside from that, try not to veg out on it. So this is basically what I wanted to talk about that if, if things like this are going on in the 1960s, you know, you can't imagine what type of mind control or whatever you want to call it is going on today. I mean, why do people like the food at McDonald's? It's terrible, but people are compelled to go there and do it anyway. I know Coca-Cola is bad for you, but I'm occasionally somehow I consider it a reward food, a special food when I know it's bad for you. People are constantly doing things that are bad for them, drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes and doing a lot of immorality that are really just, you know, causing harm to yourself. And so I thought I would just bring this up, uh, take it from the back burner to the front burner. It, it looks like the real McCoy to me. It looks like this is the original sign-off footage that uh, somebody in the 60s was already how long has this been going on? We don't know. We do know that all the presidents in the United States, except for one, are all blood related to one another going back to the 1300s in England. Well, that's all that I have for today. This has been Conspiracy Corner News, episode 29. Are you prepared for eternity? Please tell your friends, share the link, give me a YouTube thumbs up if you like this video, like it if you like it, and thank you for your kind support.